<laughs> What's up, my brothers? Gus here again, doing another little review. Today, I got in the mail the BPS BS1 F. TS. And I uh, already had the Adventurer blade. I've done a little patina work on mine. Uh, you guys can see it there. Just used some apple cider vinegar and some mustard and gave it a nice little cool look. All right. Um, I kind of like doing that. Just makes my knives a little bit different. So, but today we're going to go over this BS1 FPS that just came in and uh, let's see how we're doing here. All right. All right. So, here's another knife from Ukraine. We'll go over uh, a little bit of the differences. This is the box that it comes in. And uh, let's see how it comes packaged up, shall we? All right, some nice little plastic there. Once again, very nice sheath. As you can see in comparison to the big brother, the adventurer. And then let's take a look at the knife itself, man. Let's see here. Oh, wow. It's like a nice little drop point on this one. And uh, it says here on the blade, UPS knives made in Ukraine. So you can see the size comparison between the two. Right there, all right. How sharp is it out the box? Let's see, the last one I got was razor sharp and I did bring a uh, dry piece of paper with me today. Somewhat dry, hopefully it's dry, we'll see. All right. I don't know. It's already wet and rainy down here in Tennessee, but it looks like it's gonna do the job. Right. Good enough for the girls I'm going out with these days, right? Yeah, all right. So, just so you guys can see them side by side again. How's it fit in the hand? Just a basic, real simple knife, you know? Well, now I'm still digging this Adventurer pretty good. And then the blade thickness difference. All right, I got my micro out today, so let's go over some specs real quick. So we'll take a look at them. All right, so. Let's do, uh, let's do link first. What do you guys say? We'll zero out the micro and uh, we'll do it in millimeters right off the rip. And you're gonna have a blade of, let's see. Oh. Hey, let's just put one down at the top. It'll be a little bit easier for me here fighting it. Now, 5.5 inches, or in millimeters, 139 millimeters, okay? And as far as our thickness is on this one, on the BPS Adventurer, 3.5 millimeters, essentially. And on the FTS, 1.85 millimeters, all right. Length of the handle. Hundred and one millimeters or uh hundred and four point eight five inches. Alright, it's getting kinda of dark out here guys. So hopefully you can see it too well. I'm pretty sure it'll blast some sparks pretty easily. Um, looks like a nice little knife kind of do some fine whittle work and everything with um, as far as the difference between the two I think this one was $25 maybe and this one was you know $39 so just a nice little additional knife if you want to do some light whittle work around the yard maybe some fine gain cutting and everything like that okay so, so you can see them side by side in the sheaths Plug right in there. There you go. Both of them, pretty sure that is a, a walnut handle. So, um, appears to be a carbon steel. I think it'll blast a spark if we need to. Let's see. Get a time before the uh, 
The light runs out. We're pushing it today, boys. Oh, I don't know. Not wanting to hit it. There it goes. Not nearly as good, though, as the uh, Adventurer. So the Adventurer is just blowing it everywhere. I'm not really getting it on this one. So, it is carbon steel. It's a little dark out here. I think it says 1066. Pretty sure that's what it says, 1066. So, um, the back of it is pretty straight. But I should let you know right there, boys, what you're going to be doing with that knife. Probably cutting up some small game. When we start fires, need the uh, adventurer. Yeah, what a great knife, man. What, what both of them are just great knives. This will be a fun little thing to kind of skin some animals with or maybe do some light, you know, whittling around. Um, I'll definitely find a purpose for it, but... Uh, you know, bang for the buck, bro. The adventurer is pretty nice. I'm sure for 25 bucks, you guys can find all kinds of nice stuff to do with this. Um, man, it's pretty. It's got the same scanty grind on it. You know, just a little bit more of a drop point where that's kind of a straight edge, all right? Look at that. All right, boys. Thank you so much. Hope this uh, video is lighting up for you guys to actually see what's going on.